Pre-game preparations continue inside Columbus Crew Stadium, San Jose, the opposition tonight. This is the first game for the black and gold after nine days of rest. Back with Manu Ekpo, which is very exciting for the team. He's been playing very well this season. And then obviously your Robbie Rogers, Eddie Gavin, Bernardo and Norm Mendoza forming a great front group. At the first 11 for San Jose and Wondolowski, an all-star, the league's golden boot winner a season ago, but he's in the midfield tonight. It is hot, it is humid, but there is a nice breeze blowing, enough to keep many in their crew stadium seats comfortable. But as usual, we see very little movement of the corner flags around the pitch itself. I don't think the breeze is going to be much of a factor, Duncan, on the field of play. We've talked about that so many times. It's opportunity and then taking advantage when it's offered, and he certainly is an example of that. He has, and he's formed a great partnership with Chad Marshall. Stevenson will have a go from distance, and he puts it off the post to the left of William Hesmer. I think William Hesmer thought that this one might have gone a bit wider than it did. And we see it again, Stevenson here just bent, getting a nice bend on the ball. Round ball Hesmer off the outside of the post, and that's a get out of jail free cut early for Columbus. And more so, Rayel Salt Lake. Corner kick put into play. Can Mendoza keep it alive? Yes, he will. Gavin's going to have a go. Nifty effort. Out West, Salt Lake has four games in hand of L.A. Here's another look. You see it again. Chad Marshall getting manhandled. Mendoza doing well to nod it back to Gavin. And a great effort to get it out of his feet and get it off his body. But all too easy for John Bush. San Jose comes into this one. Five wins, six losses, seven draws. And a plus one, outscoring the opposition 22-21. There's room now. And there's a good shot. And up high to get his mid on it is William Hesmer. That ball was stung by Dawkins. And that's why Will Hesmer has the 40 shutouts. That's a very good save. See it again. Dawkins getting out of his feet and really gets a nice little bobble as he hits it. And a great, great fingertip over the bar there from Will Hesmer. We've seen a couple of good strikes from outside the box. Derek finds a little room. Can he get out of danger now in the dribble? And then bends the ball for Rodgers. And Rodgers is onside. And Rodgers is in the box. Takes a shot. Deflected. Gavin can't get there. Save. Butch is a good one. And a great piece of work. Marigurg, a great through ball. Corral is keeping Rodgers onside there. Rodgers, good first touch out of his feet. Puts it in the right spot. But Bush doing a great job. And we've seen him here a number of times in the past. With Columbus doing the same thing. And that's a great save. Bison from talking to him over the last kind of three months and trying to get this thing sorted out. I mean, he loves the crew so much and it really came out this evening getting honored like that. Miranda has a go! Struck it well on the half volley right at the crew keeper, the former crew keeper, John Bush. We have to just, uh, just put the trigger and then uh, hit it the ball hard. We try to, to place it and, and then just sometimes it's just too much. Tommy Hyman into the game right now. What do you need to see from him specifically? Uh, we, need, we need him presence in the box. Uh, we're putting him crosses in, but obviously we um, we didn't have anybody that uh, that would finish it. So hopefully, you know, he's going to do that. All right, Coach, thank you. Appreciate it. Guys, listen it back up to you. Ekpo's on the move. Slots to Mendoza. He's got the left shoe, and he shoots high. Well, a quick exchange at either end of the field. Let's begin with the Earthquakes. Chad Marshall just misjudging that one, and Will Hesmer, a kick save, doing his starfish jump, and got a bit lucky there. And then Mendoza, a beautiful through ball, and he definitely want to have that back, just blazes it over the bar, and we know on his left foot in positions like that, he's been so deadly. Garrett working hard. I'll tell you what, that is great work from Eric Garrett. Mendoza for Rodgers, deflected, and it rolls right to Mendoza! Kick save and a beauty! When John Bush has been called upon tonight to be the difference, that's what he's been. Yeah, great save. Great work early on from Garrett again, Mendoza playing a little ball through. And again, he gets a good opportunity on his right foot this time and just can't get enough on it to get it past Bush. Great kick save, John Bush. Keep San Jose. Keep San Jose in it. Will Hisman went for the star jump save. Bush's was 
laying down and making himself long. There's an opportunity, what a save! Right on cue! <laughs> wow. And that's a great cross in. Just going over Miranda, good header back across, and Will Hesmer fingertips again. Acrobatic work, and that's the stuff he works on at training with the Dean. Gardner forward for Cunningham. Out wide now. Cunningham spins to the middle. Accelerates from one. Plays Heineman. Slips past him. Mirren on the back side. Great save, Bush. Bushy went down and got big. I'll tell you what, if Tom Heineman doesn't touch that, maybe Bushy can't quite get there and Mirren's got a, a better look at the goal. You don't blame him for getting in there and trying to score, though, of course, but... Corner kick played a bit higher. Deflected right in front. Cunningham gets Chase swatted wide by John Bush is the ball. Columbus crew just laying siege to the San Jose goal at the moment. The crew seconds away from moving into a first place tie atop the Eastern Conference with New York and Philadelphia. And that's the way it's going to go. Huge crowd out tonight to celebrate the return of Brian McBride. But they leave a little bit disappointed, I have to think, over the fact that Columbus is held to a scoreless draw.